so stay tuned for that. But the main event is at the front. There is an enormous piece of glass, which yes, is very easy to fingerprint and smudge. And then behind that thing, there's this outward facing OLED display and a bunch of sensors all the way around, outside facing sensors that go forward, sideways, and straight down. And there's depth sensors, infrared illuminators, LiDAR scanners, and just regular old RGB cameras, all being processed by an M2 chip and an R1 chip inside this thing. And then maybe the craziest part, inside the headset, there are a bunch more sensors facing your eyes, tracking your eyes in real time for all the eye control and everything that comes with that. And also then to display a representation of your eyes on the outside of the headset, kinda, we'll get there. But overall, when you put it all together, you get a very well-made, very high-end, but also pretty heavy computer to wear on your face. Uh, so officially, this, this headset with this solo knit band, when I weighed it, showed up as 638 grams, which some of you on Twitter have already pointed out is actually slightly less than the plastic MetaQuest Pro. But that Quest Pro also has a lot of battery on the back of your head as a sort of a counterbalance. So the weight distribution is very different. Also, the Quest Pro is not that comfortable anyway.